So it'd be nice to have it for a longer period of time. So you could look into these options if you're going to like an accredited institution uh, and, and see what you can do there. Then we have the test drive. Now the test drive is available to everyone. And uh, the, the good thing about the test drive is that it already has data in it. Now that, that's a pro and it could be a con. It's a pro if we wanna practice navigating the software. If I wanna take a look at reports or I wanna take a look at how to do data input of invoices and bills and whatnot, it's good that it already has data in it because then I can actually look at a report that has information in it because then I can actually enter invoices that have customers, bills that have vendors already assigned, items have already been input into the system. So we can practice using an accounting system that's already built. So if you're completely new to an accounting software, the first thing that we wanna do, as we will do in this course, is use some type of system or some type of, of uh, software that already has data in it so that we can deconstruct it deconstructing something is easier than building something from an engineering kind of standpoint right so if you if you if you if you had to build an engine without ever having seen one that's going to be quite difficult if you see the engine and you're able to take it apart then it's much more likely you might be able to put one back together right so that's that's the idea so we'll start the first part of the course here using this tool now it's the great thing about this tool is everybody has access to it however it's possible QuickBooks could change the numbers over time, number one. And number two, when you log out of this software and go back into the software, then the numbers will revert back to where they were before. So it's not well suited for a long problem uh, that you wanna practice over multiple days because it's gonna delete the data that you put into it. Also, if you, are, if you already have a Intuit account, a QuickBooks account, sometimes it gets messed up to try to get into this account because it basically logs you in as a universal login, I think is the general what's happening.